Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and I have a box of stuff that I wanna get rid of. It's been, I've, I've had this little box sitting next to my normal regular kind of like everyday setup, not where I film in here, but in the other room. It, it's too dark to film in there. That's the only reason I don't film in there. Anyway, so I keep throwing stuff in here that it's like, I either don't like, don't really want to keep using it because I don't enjoy it, or it's just old AF and I got to get rid of it. So today I thought, you know what, let's go through a bunch of this stuff because it's kind of a declutter. It's kind of a trash session and let's put on some of the stuff that I don't really like and let's just see if maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe I need to keep it. Can, can we do that? Are you guys okay with that? Okay, uh, and I, I, I don't really have it organized. Let me get it organized here. I'll be right back. I have a whole face of junk. And so this is gonna be kind of a, a talk through application. Some of it's not bad. I like, I liked it when I got it, but it's just old. And some of it is just, just horrible. So I'm, I'm actually swatching a couple of things right now just because I believe they're really bad and I'm just double checking. Oh yeah, that's horrid. Okay, I have a hard time letting go of stuff that I purchase. We're not gonna call it hoarding, we're gonna call it collecting because that's much kinder. But the reality is, is that I have, I have too much and then I keep adding it. And I have a, a good friend who said, for everything you add, get rid of something. And I haven't been doing a good job of that. So I'd like to say that I would start doing better of that, but I, I haven't. So let's just kind of get into this. Some real drugstore budget friendly stuff, some kind of middle of the road, and some that it's actually relatively high end and you guys might be surprised, but it's time to say goodbye. So. If you guys are okay with that, stick around. Uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and, and maybe even hit the like button if you're feeling generous. And let's just let's just get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna actually use is this Wet n Wild Rose Scented uh, Photo Focus 3-in-1 Spray. It's a primer, a fixer, and a refresher. I was reading it on the French side. I meant to read it on the English side. Yeah, prep, set, and refresh. So I'm gonna use this as kind of a little bit of a prep I've got skincare on right now. It's very shiny because the stuff I've been using is like this glow superfood stuff. I like it, but we're gonna we're gonna move on. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of this on my face. This is almost a full bottle. And I don't mind the rose scent. The spray is very aggressive. So this is hard for me to want to use because it feels like I'm showering my face. And then I worry about, you know, will everything else sit and dry down and all that kind of stuff. My fan is broken. Okay. We're gonna try to dry this down a little bit. So I've had this for a long time. I bought several of these. I bought the coconut one. I bought the rose one. I'm trying to remember what other ones I bought from my local Walgreens. And it's been, I wanna think I've had this now for like two years and I don't use it. So if I, if I haven't used it in two years, bye-bye. So the next thing I wanna put on here is a little bit of this pore filling stick. I actually bought two of these. I'm guessing they were on a really good sale. This is from Sea Color Cosmetics. And I have so many pore filling type products right now. I like pore filling products, but do I need these? I don't reach for these ever. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my T-zone. We're just gonna kind of start with that. And I don't I don't think that these are necessarily horrible, but I don't reach for them. I think if you're looking for a pore filling type primer and you're on a budget, great. These are perfectly fine, especially if you're placing an order at C Color Cosmetics because you like the economical dupe brands. Definitely take a look at these, but neither one of these are sealed up. I can't I can't put them in a giveaway and I don't use them. They don't need to go on my travel stuff. They just need to go away. Next thing is a little bit of a surprise, but this is a Burberry foundation stick. I've used it more re frequently. I didn't use it for the longest time. It's very cool when you put it on. It's almost like you're putting on something very watery. And I, it's not that I hate the product, but I found that it sits weird on my skin. And no matter what primer, what moisturizer, what tool I use to apply it, I just don't enjoy it. So even though this is a high budget item, I think I actually, I don't think I spent a lot of money for it. I think I got it at Nordstrom Rack for future reference. But I did a whole video of Burberry products. Maybe I'll link it. Maybe I'll be smart enough to actually link it here in the cards. But anyway, I so if I put that on, it just feels like it sits weird on my skin. Yeah, it's it's not looking 
like skin. It looks like product sitting on skin. And that's just not a good look. I've tried it more recently because I was like, oh, you know what? I'll try to pan this because I bought it and it's Burberry and who doesn't want to use bougie, bougie products? And I'm trying to make more of an effort of actually using up some of the high end stuff instead of having to just sit there and have it spoil. This, I don't enjoy this. This is in shade uh, number 28, warm beige going away. Okay, I do have another cream contour palette. This is from C Color Cosmetics, and it's not horrible. I just don't ever use it. So I'm going to grab my, this is that uh, e.l.f. sponge from the Cookies and Dreams collection. I'm going to grab, and, and these are not bad. I just, I don't ever use them, and they're a cream, found, or cream contour, and I like cream products, and I got to tell you that for the price, I think I actually like the e.l.f contour cream contour kits better not only do they have a cream contour kit but then they also have a uh, color correcting kit and this has a little bit of the color correcting in here too to go along with the contour I guess you maybe you do like you know light and dark that's why they're calling it a contour palette they also have a powder contour palette I probably ought to get rid of that one if I don't if I haven't already and this and the product's fine don't get me wrong if you're looking for a cream contour palette there are worse ones out there it's just I don't ever reach for this and again we're going on probably two years of having this. Time to say goodbye. There's, there's like a peach kind of corrector here. I'm going to grab a little bit of that right here. Since that foundation doesn't really cover as much as I'd like it to, I don't even think that's really doing anything. I'll grab a brush here and let's just try to apply some with the brush and see if, yeah, that goes on much more opaque that way. Like I said, for as far as like cream products go, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. I just don't reach for it. Why Why keep having stuff around, taking up space in a drawer, if you're not actually going to use it? I think it's it's too big of a palette to travel with. I mean, don't use it at home because I reach for other products. It needs to go on the chopping block, right? Camera seems like it's a little dark right now, and I think it's because I don't have my other big box light on. If you guys want me to start turning on the box light again, if that makes a difference, let me know. I also have you probably zoomed in in a weird place, too. Going away. Got it on the face, but it's going away. Okay, here's another thing. I'm a little bit scared to put this on. This is a Fenty cream. Uh, what are they calling it? They're calling it Cheeks Out, a cream bronzer. Bronzer. This is in shade 01 Amber, and it is so gray. I don't even want to put this on my face. It's like it. It's like cement, like the color of cement, maybe or putty. That's not. That's not a color that I can put on my skin tone. I suspect it's maybe meant for a darker complexion, but I don't know why. I bought that, I think, because it was the lightest shade, maybe. It's not good. I'm not even going to put it on my face. So I have several blush products. I have an overabundance of blush right now. This one here is Basic Beauty. This is a more of a, uh, I think it's more of a highlighter, although that's not a highlighter. That's maybe an eyeshadow. I also have one from Colored Rain. This came in a, um, like a mystery bundle, I think. And actually, it's fine. I just don't reach for it. So I'll have to see what that looks like. I do have this really old Neutrogena Healthy Skin Custom Glow Blush and Bronzer combination. The, the little Why Bother brush still has its protective thing on it. I had this, I think, in my car for a really long time. And then I also have this, uh, what is this? This has got to be Wet n Wild. Yeah, Wet n Wild. It's called Passion Session. I did a recent Wet n Wild haul and I tried a bunch of their products. This is so shiny that it's, and I like an orange blush, but I didn't, I didn't care for that at all. I think it's kind of sickly. This Flower Beauty blush, this one also very, very shiny. It's, that's more of a highlighter. I, 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 not meant for ladies of a certain age, we'll put it that way. And then this one, this is kind of funny. This is a Charlotte Tilbury blush. And some people were gonna think like, oh, sacrilege, why are you throwing away Charlotte Tilb Tilbury? I keep trying to use this and I just, I just don't enjoy it. So we're gonna put some of this on to start with. Now, of course, as I have it on top over a, no. It's just, it's a, it's a topper. It's not an actual blush for me. It's a blush topper maybe a little bit of a lightener, brightener. This is going to be great for somebody. Uh, maybe I'll see if my daughter, I, I, I think she's too dark complected. I don't think she's going to be able to use that. Okay, so we're not going to have that on. Let's go ahead and try the the one from Colored Rain because this is such a beautiful punch of color. And Colored Rain does have really saturated products in my opinion. And as I put it on, okay, it's pretty, it's beautiful. But don't ever reach for this. See there already, we've got my over abuse of blush on. Yay. That other product is so shiny underneath. Yikes. I think, is it this blush? No, I don't think the blush is super shiny. It had to have been that other stuff from earlier. I've got, I've got a glow here. 
going on. I've got texture, even after I put on that poreless primer, putty primer thing. Speaking of, let's go ahead and put on some of this rare or flower beauty stuff. Oh yeah, see that is so shiny. Yeah, now I have texture up here where I didn't before. Ugh, shiny, shiny, shiny. I don't even know what to do with the rest of this stuff. I'm gonna keep keep a couple of these <laughs> for a few minutes and we'll come back and look at it. Okay. How about this one? This is a Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighter. It's gold. It's actually in the shade Trophy Wife. I'm pretty sure I've swatched this. I can't even see that I've swatched it. Did I ever use this in a video, you guys? I kind of want to just put it in a giveaway if I haven't swatched it. No, I don't want to risk it. I'm just going to try it. What does that look like? Oh yeah, that's, that's gold. Maybe something like this could be on a, a collarbone or something or a shoulder in the summer. I just, I'm never going to use this. This is just not a product that I think it came in a boxy charm, maybe a boxy charm takeover or something like that. I have another one. This is another one of those Fenty kilowatt foil pressed highlighter duo. I think I, I think I took this out and yeah, it looks like I swatched it. This is pink and purple. Who, who uses pink and purple highlighter? I don't even know what to think here. It's very creamy. I just think it's the weirdest shade. Now, as I swatch this, I go, wait, that's almost periwinkle. I bet that would be a fun eyeshadow. If you do periwinkle eyeshadow and then the pink, I think these are eyeshadows. I don't think these are, are highlighters. I don't, I don't know why they're billed as highlighters. Maybe we'll come back and use them. And we've got kind of a collection of highlighters going on here. We're just going to leave this the way it is here. This is the Kevin Aquan palette. And I think this is the first and maybe only Kevin Aquan um, full face palette. I, I think any palette. I don't think I have any of their eyeshadow palettes. But anyway, I was super excited to see this. I think I picked it up at a... Mm, I'm going to guess like a TJ Maxx or something along those lines. I don't... There's no sticker on it anymore. This was in my car for the longest time. This was kind of like my touch up between meetings situation and it was okay, but I've had it for a long time now. And I think it's time, I think it's time to say goodbye because I don't use it. I don't reach for it. And I don't think that the colors are even super flattering for me. We're going to go with this bone shade first and we're just going to kind of pop it up here. I just feel like it doesn't really give me much. It's got a lot of kick up. I don't remember hearing or seeing anything about it. Like nobody was talking about this. Don't even recall like when it might have come out. It's just not, it's not doing anything for me. It's getting in my, my, in my eyelashes. That's fun. And I felt like some of these colors were really beautiful, but see, I feel like that's hard panned. Yeah. It's not that it's full on hard panned. It's just not, it's a little hard panned. And I could probably take the time to try to fix it. I know that there's some tricks you can use to kind of get it to not be hard panned, but A, it's not really worth it for me because I have so much other product and I don't think this was horribly expensive. I want to think I paid 20 bucks for this whole like full face of, and this is not great. So why do I have it? I'm going to grab, so I, I mean, I, I keep using these, these other colors on here because I'm like, oh, well, just, you know, we'll keep putting it on. We're going to do that. I'm just going to keep putting it on. I think I can get a, like a look out of it. Like if I needed a travel kit, it would probably work. However, I don't need any more travel kits. I, I have enough. I'm going to go into the dark brown here too. Now you guys, I'm not a makeup artist. If you are new here and you don't know that I'm doing the best I can with what I have and what I have right now is this Kevin O'Quan palette. Do I think I can muddle through a, a look if I needed to? Sure. I think I could probably use it to kind of touch up, but I don't enjoy this palette. There, there is anything about it that I enjoy. I'm going to grab this teal blue color here. I love that shade next to blue eyes. That's actually probably my favorite shade in this whole palette, but everything seems too sheer or just too off, I guess, you know, for a cool tone palette, because I feel like it is a cool tone palette, but it's weird that you have a cool tone palette, but then you've got this almost a corally color gradient on the blush. I hate to roast it because I don't know enough about the brand. We're, we're not keeping this. All right. Say goodbye. And there is a bronzer and a blush in there. I have enough blush on my cheeks right now. I don't, I don't need to add any more. Let me try one of these highlighters. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Might as well. Let's go ahead and use this kilowatt. We're going to put a little of the purple on since we had that teal on already. I'm kind of laughing at myself because, you know, I see people, it's like, we're going to try on everything. And here I am doing that very same thing. And, and okay. The, the purple is pretty. Let's use the pink right in here. I mean, I don't need to keep this right. I've never actually used it. I don't need to keep this. Please tell me I don't need to keep this. Gotta, gotta say moving on. Okay. Let's try uh, one of these highlighters on the cheeks. Might as well, huh? 
I'm going to grab a little highlighter brush. I'm going to use this lightest one here. Now, I feel like it's hard panned. These look hard panned, but um, I have so much other shiny shit on my face right now. I don't even know if this is bringing anything on here. Oh yeah, it is. That's, mm, this is, this is not good. I, I feel a little bit like a glazed donut right now, you guys. That's not a good, that's not a good look. Can't believe we're trying all this stuff on. Okay. Hey, let's, uh, let's switch over now to, I've got three mascaras that I want to get rid of. One of them is a MAC Magic Extension Mascara. I think I've, I used this recently. Did I get a MAC? I got like a box of MAC stuff. I don't know. Was this AIA? This might've been AIA. Then I have this MUA Makeup Academy Amplify Statement Lash, and then I have a Burberry Lash. Now, I think the Burberry, well, I, I picked this up when I, when I did a face full of Burberry, so I think I got this at Nordstrom Rack. It's beautiful packaging, feels nice and luxurious, but I think the Burberry aesthetic is one that's very simplified and muted and understated, and that's not really me. It's not really my thing. This, this is so shiny on my face right now. Okay, so let's... Let's take a look here because I'm, I'm having a hard time remembering about the MUA mascara. So let's just see what it looks like on. Now, as I'm putting it on, it's not horrible. Oh, yeah. So I think the thing with this mascara as I'm reapplying it is I felt like while it gave me just a little bit of length, it didn't really thicken up my lashes. And I think there are better mascaras. I mean, I got a little tiny bit of something if you can compare the two but not enough, not enough for me to want to keep it. Let's compare that to the MAC mascara, which I think I gave this a really good try. I think one of the things about this mascara is I felt like it traveled. So this one I think gives me thickness, but no length. And I want it all. I want both. I want, I want length and I want thickness when it comes to mascara. My husband probably just spit out his coffee if he's listening to... Yeah, and when I put these on together, they almost look the same. It's just, it's not good. The Burberry one, this is more of a brown, brown black. And again, it's a different aesthetic. It's more simplified. We're going to put a little bit on the bottom here. I don't know why I'm doing this right now. It's, this one is clumpy and it travels and it's too pale. I guess I, if I'm going to do a brown mascara, it's going to be more of like a brown black, but I, it doesn't look good. And it's already traveled underneath my, so I, I, I've been keeping it and I, I didn't need to keep it. It's, yeah, and I've already got transfer all the way down here. The smudging is, the smudging is real. Oh my gosh, my skin right now looks so glowy and shiny and kind of all kinds of ridiculous. Honestly, you guys, I'm not, it's not that I'm having a bad day. I just don't care for these products. And I keep hanging on to stuff. For why, why, why are we, why are we hanging on to this stuff? Oh, you guys, I forgot. I have a whole bunch of these eyeliners. Some of them have never be, been opened. These are the Jordana ones, drugstore. You used to pick these up all the time at my local Walgreens. Or, you know, for a couple bucks, these were great. Like these two, these two, no, these three have never even been opened. But yet I've had them for years now. I've moved on. I've moved on to other eyeliners. Blue denim was one of my favorites forever because I love a blue eyeliner with brown eyes and that's even still creamy enough. I have a smoky, which is kind of a silver. This is how much I loved this particular shade. There's three of the blue divines in here and a smoky, a sea green and a purple. Are we putting these on? Let's put these on the eyeballs. We're going to do the purple first. I probably should have put these on before. Yeah. See, is this even too? I should have put these on before I put the mascara on. Does this even show up? I don't even know that that's really showing up here. Well, at least, at least try to make it even here. I feel like all I did was smear that mascara. That's going away. Well, let's go a little memory lane here and let's do the blue denim or blue divine or whatever it's called. This brings back so many memories. Now, what I love about this particular product that I seem to have so much of, I hope I've gotten rid of all of them because I haven't used these in a very, very long time. Um, but what I like is that it's an automatic pencil, so there's no sharpening, which is great. Love the price point. I think you can even sometimes get them on sale where you can get like you know, buy one, get one half off or something like that. And they had a, a, a decent solid range of colors. You could get the black, the brown, the blue, the green, the purple. I've had a number where I've left them in my car and then they've melted. And I think just over the, over the years, I've just upgraded to better ones. In a pinch, if I lost my, my eyeliner and I was traveling, I would absolutely pick one of those up. But gone are the days where I need to have every single color or need to pick them up every time I go in. Okay. I do have a whole collection of lip liners. Some of these are 
absolutely horrible. One of them is just old. There's three from the same brand. This is Private Society. Did you guys ever get involved in those guys? I did a video actually where I tried on a bunch of Private Society products. I don't think I ever posted it. I don't even know if I still have the footage. I might still. This, oh my gosh, these colors are so, so bad. Okay, so this one's like a light nude and if I wanted to do that 70s or 60s thing with the big twiggy lashes and my lips kind of disappearing, I guess that would be the color to use. That's not really doing anything for me. We're going to go over the top of it with this coral one. See if this is any better. Nope. Looks like I've been eating a powdered donut. Donuts in my brain. Yeah, that's a horrible color. That's horrid. This one's not bad. I'm going to try to take this off here. Hold on. Hold, please. That's, that's so bad. I'm guessing these shades either came as a kit or I was confused when I was buying them. This is one that I think was not horrible. And again, they're an automatic pencil. I've had these for over a year. They're tugging on my skin and that's so not flattering. Getting rid of those. Okay, I have another one. So here's a little known fact. Maybe I've mentioned it before. My mother used to be an Avon lady. So I do have random Avon products that are still floating around. Two of them actually for this video. So here's the lip liner and I I don't think I hated this I think this has to be like 10 years old now to be to be completely honest I don't even know why I still had it I, I think because not even for like nostalgia sake I think I kept it because if I'm gonna do red lip there are worse ones than this one because it's a little bit of a blue blue red I actually like the color this one's called mauve it I'm not getting mauve on this I'm getting like a blue red you guys can see that right maybe a little mauve but to me it's a blue red it's too dark for what I would normally, normally wear. So we're going to say goodbye to that one. I have two of these lip crayons here from Neutrogena and I actually really like them. Uh, here's one of them, kind of a brownie, brownie plumbing color. And then there's another one that's definitely more of a purpley color. And they're, they're great. They're emollient. They're great. I've just had them for a very long time. I don't even want to put this on right now. We're going to go in with the Avon lipstick. This is, I don't even know how long, how old this is. Oh my gosh. It's like hard and it has a very distinctive Avon smell. A little like Play-Doh or plastic maybe. I don't look good in red lipstick. D what color is this? Wine Damask. I'm scared that I'm gonna get like a disease right now because of having that one here. Okay so I've got these lip glosses from Colored Rain. Again this came in a like a beauty box beauty bundle thing and they're two shades that I would not have chosen. I did have somebody say hey you I want to see you try it in a video. You're welcome. I'm trying it in a video as I'm getting ready to get rid of it. Here's the blue, the kind of dark purple one. When would I ever wear a lip gloss like that? I'm, I'm guessing I, I just don't have a lifestyle that I would wear that. This one wasn't bad. The top one isn't as bad because it's a, a like a clear with kind of a purpley fuchsia sort of look to it. So the top one's at least wearable. The bottom one, that's going to be one of the more disgusting things I've ever had on my mouth. We're almost done. And I, I think I've had a bunch of these, uh, like Ulta Beauty House brand stuff that I've gotten rid of over the years. Um, I don't know how many, how many of them have shown up in a declutter video or how many more might be still buried in the drawer, but one of them is this um, concealer. And I think I had this in my car too for a long time. We're just going to put a little bit on right here. Where else do I need concealing? Well, <laughs> that's the money question of the day, huh? We're going to just have this on here. And I don't think that this is horrible, but I have so many concealers and so many better concealers that I, I don't, I, I'm just, I'm keeping this because I bought it. It smells very strongly of alcohol right now. I don't remember it smelling like that before. I think it's turned. Time to say goodbye. Okay. There's a whole lot going on here right now. Might as well just, you know, keep going. Here's a bronzer. Do I, I didn't try this one on, did I? No, I didn't. Oh yeah. I feel like a Robert Plant video or something like that right now. This is just, I think this bronzer is definitely more of like a shiny, a, sh a sh shiny warm tone bronzer. It's not a good look. It's not a good look and it's old. I don't even know what to do with this. I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm not going to put it on. I'm winding down here. Hey, how about this Flower Beauty uh, powder? This is the Miracle Matte Powder. I'd heard really good things about this and it's actually not even that old, but when I've used it, I haven't liked the way my skin looked. It came cracked. You probably can't even see it because it's white, but it uh, came cracked and it's, um, I didn't even care enough to try to send it back and get a new one. I thought, oh, I'll just try it because it's powder, you know? And I think as far as like the matte part, sure. But I think this one gives you a little bit of white cast and I think when I used it, I was getting um, kind of like that scaly looking face stuff. All right, it toned down quite a bit of the, the shine 
it blended, but yeah, I already, ugh, I'm glad I don't have it on my teeth. I'm, I feel like it's already starting to crinkle on my skin. This is just not good. It's a not, not a good, not a good makeup day. You guys, my very last thing is this Physician's Formula 24 Karat Gold Collagen Setting Spray. I did a whole face of Physician's Formula. The mist isn't bad. The scent isn't spectacular. I don't know what about it is, is, oh yeah. So when you spray it on your hand, you get like gold shimmer on your hand. Not attractive, not, not good. All right, you guys, I've tried on a face full of junk makeup. At the end of the day, part of it actually looks like I could leave the house. Not this. We're, we're not leaving the house with this. This is coming off post haste. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the stuff that I've been meaning to throw away. <laughs> no, instead I just put it all on my face. I, I'm hopefully not going to break out and have my skin fall off because that would be horrible. I hope you guys are doing really well. Thank you so much for sticking around until my next video. Bye for now.